to my colleagues, our stakeholders, and our team within the Division of Student Affairs and Norman, the Health Sciences Center, OU Tulsa, and Arezzo. My name is Dr. David Surratt, and I'm grateful to serve as Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students at OU. I'd hope to speak to you live at our State of the Division scheduled for late October, but I'm still grateful to share this brief message along with a special edition newsletter enclosed. Uh, thanks to the work of Vicki Bumgarner and Daniel Steele to get this message to you before we conclude the semester. A great deal has happened since our last division-wide meeting a year ago, and much of this has certainly been affected by the onset of a global pandemic last spring. I wanna take a moment and acknowledge the devastating impacts that the virus has had, especially upon those who've experienced loss during this challenging time. Some of you I know have lost loved ones to COVID and some of us have experienced loss or challenges not directly related to the virus and yet we find ourselves still affected by a public health crisis that impacted our ability to easily grieve or be there for one another. It's tough at a time where sharing a meal, a smile, an intimate conversation or close embrace comes with a risk. Even if you never fall ill, our expressions of heartache as well as our joy have been fundamentally disrupted. Though we've experienced immense challenges, many of us have focused on maintaining hope, patience and resilience throughout the year. I for one have reflected a great deal about what resilience has meant for many communities, not only managing COVID fatigue, but also fatigue related to racial or social injustice in our national climate or the fatigue of a divisive political atmosphere or the fatigue of just managing life's everyday responsibilities. At this very moment, you have and continue to overcome 100% of what's been thrown at you. And we've come to know more and more about what resilience truly means and have discovered that we find resilience when we meet unavoidable challenges or suffering fully in the face. I'm reminded of a story about Biosphere 2 a few decades ago. This biosphere was an experiment that included providing the absolute most ideal living conditions for the people and plants within it. And while there were some successes, there were some major failures when it came to their trees. Every time a tree grew to a certain height, it would just simply fall over. This confused scientists until they realized that the biosphere lacked a key element necessary to the tree's health, wind. In a natural environment, trees are battered repeatedly and often violently by the wind, and they respond to that pressure and agitation by growing stronger bark and deeper roots to increase their stability. You see, although we fear the stress and the challenges thrown at us, those stresses and challenges have and continue to make us stronger, particularly this year. And we've done this because of not just individual, but collective strength. One of my favorite quotes comes from an African proverb, and it goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This sentiment is a reminder of the collective strength of community and that a commitment to working together can reveal our ability to overcome obstacles and reach new heights or distances when we do so together. That's what I believe to be the power of us. How we have connected and acted together has been rooted in a desire for us to solve big problems for the common good, not only within the Division of Student Affairs, but also across campus, including partnerships with the Office of the Provost, our colleagues in operations, colleagues within diversity, equity, and inclusion, our communications experts, our public health experts, and many, many others. We have and continue to witness an emergence of our power to not only continue managing through a crisis, but still grow as people to solve what some once thought were impossible struggles to overcome. I'm excited that we've not only survived, but also thrived since this time last year, since including additions of new programs to student affairs, new team members and new opportunities as we near the end of the fall semester. I wanna offer special appreciation to our Goddard Health Services staff, our housing and residential life staff, HSC and OU Tulsa Student Affairs offices, including Kate Stanton and Josh Davis, VP Eric Conrad and his operations team, including dining, custodial and facilities management, Mackenzie Dilbeck, Keisha Keith and Melissa Caperton and the entire marketing and communications team, the Office of the Provost, including Interim Provost Jill Irvine, Mark Morvant, and Jeff Blonick, Academic Deans, Chairs, and Directors, our International Student Services Office, our Chief COVID Officer, Dr. Dale Bratzler, and President Haruz, and the rest of our Executive Leadership Team. I'm thankful for our partners in our Division of Student Affairs for the commitment to collaboration and shared strength for the sake of our students and our community. I look forward to finish this semester fueled by the power of us. Thank you again and live on university.